Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card with Tia sitting on the Fairy Toad store. I'm going to be using three ink pads to make my background and I started off using Sahara and then using olive and mulberry around the edge which helps to frame the card. I'm also going to be using some of this beautiful eco glitter and it's Turkish delight and this colour goes really well with the colour scheme I've got going. And we're also going to be using a bit of mica and minerals on the word dream. So let's get started I have my card here and now I'm going to be using Elements Ink Pads Sahara as my background so I'm just going to put it onto my blending mat spritz it with some water and now use my card to pick up the ink Now I'm going to use my heat gun to dry it before I add any more ink to it. Now I'm going to go back to my blending mat and pick up the rest of the ink. Now give it another go with the heat gun. Going back to my blending mat, I'm now going to be using olive. So again onto my blending mat with some water, giving it a good spritz and now I'm just going to go around the edge of the card. Now I'm going to use my heat gun to dry it before again I add more ink. Going back to the blending mat and picking up the rest of the ink, building up the layers of the ink. and then back to the heat gun. I'm still going to be keeping ink here that's left and I'm going to be using mulberry and give that more, some more water but quite a lot of water because I don't want it as strong at the moment. And again, we're going to go around the edge of the card. And again, using the heat gun to dry it. Going back to the blending mat again, picking this ink up over areas where it's a bit empty. And again, using the heat gun to give it a dry. I've cleaned up my blending mat and now I'm going to use the same colour, mulberry. Putting it onto my blending mat, giving it a bit of water. And now we're going to go around the edge of the card once more. Just 
just building these layers up. And now giving it another go with the heat gun. Now we have our background. So we have used Sahara as our main background colour. Then we have used olive around the edge. And then we used mulberry around the edge. And this helps to frame it all ready for our piece to go in the middle. So now I have my hill mask in place. I'm going to use the same colour ink pads that I used to do the background. So with the olive, I'm just going to use my blending brush, blend it on to my glass mat and then do my ground. And there we have our ground ready to do our stamping. Using my blending brush, picking up the ink off my glass mat, I'm now going to create a hill in the distance. And I think I'll do one more. But not picking up the ink because there'll still be ink on here. And you want it lighter. So there we have our hills ready for stamping. I'm going to be using Sahara and with my blending brush picking up the ink, blending onto my glass mat and then just going round the mask. And there we have the moon behind her. Now I'm going to be using the orchard grass. So I'm going to place that onto my acrylic block. I'm going to be using olive, the colour that we already used on the background. Ink it up. And just tidy it up. Now I'm going to stamp. And again on the other side. I'm going to do some more but in second generation of ink. So ink it up. stamp off. I'm going to use a piece of copy of paper so that I don't get all of the grass and then just stamp. Ink off. And this will create some very gentle grass in the distance. And one more. And as you can see, this second generation of grass is very gentle and delicate. Now I'm going to be using the wild flower. And I always keep my carrier sheets and it's a good way to see if the stamp's going to work with your work. So before you stamp, use your carrier sheet and position it 
and see if it's going to work with your work before you stamp it. So I'm going to place it onto my acrylic block. I'm going to be using the mulberry again. So I'm going to ink this up. And then I'm going to stamp it here on the card at the sides. And I'm going to do another one about here using my carrier sheet. I'm just going to do a few more flowers, so I'm going to ink it up. And I'm just using some copier paper so I don't get the full flower. You only get part of it. And I think we'll stamp it once more. And I'm going to put that on my ground line. And I'm just going to get the very top of the flower. And one more here. And there is our wildflowers that we've just stamped. So now I'm going to be using Forest Creeper to come down the top of the card. I'm going to stamp it in olive, same colour that we've been using on the card. And now I'm just going to turn this around and stamp And just keep building it up. Now I'm going to be using this lovely stamp from the fairy charms. I'm going to ink that up in twilight and stamp this onto the card. And now I'm just going to do some in second generation of ink. So stamp off. And with the lighter ones, it will create more depth to the card.
we're going to be using a verse. This one is See a Fairy Make a Wish. So now I'm going to position this into place. And once I'm happy, I'm going to pick it up using my stamping platform. I'm going to be using my old Versafine Claire ink pad because I don't want it dark, I want it quite light and it saves having to stamp off to do a second generation of ink. So I'm just going to ink this up and stamp. Moving the stamp down and position it to where I'd like it to go. And then inking it up again. And now we need to repeat it coming down this side. And with my brush, I'm just going to tap it around. And now I'm just going to use my heat gun just to dry this before we do any more work on it. Now I'm going to work on the wildflowers, just using a white pen. I'm just highlighting the edges. I'm going to do a bit more stamping with the orchard grass. So I have it on my block. I'm going to use the same colour as we did before using the olive. Stamping it up, inking it up. And now I'm just going to stamp with some copy of paper on my ground line and just stamping.
this orchard grass is a beautiful delicate stamp and it's just great for giving a bit of a interest to the background without it being too heavy. So now I'm going to work on Tia using my white gel pen and I'm just going to highlight around the edges on her. And I just smudge the ink so if you can see the difference to this side to the other side where I haven't inked it just gives a nice gentle highlight to it. Now I'm going to be using a silver glitter pen just to add some sparkle around the top. Just darting this randomly. So now we're going to be using some Posca pens. I'm going to start off with ivory. So I'm just going to get my pen started and we're just going to create some dots onto the ground like little buttercups or something. And then I'm going to go and use the yellow. And then I'm going to be using the red wine Posca pen and again just doing some little dots and then I'm going to use the yellow again and this time I'm just going to do some small nickel circles with it some more little round dots So I'm just going to do this randomly I have some graphite on my blending mat I've gone back to using the same moon mask we used when we did this moon. So I'm just going to place it over, use my blending brush, pick up the ink and now I'm just going to go around this moon just to make it a little bit darker. And there we have the moon a lot brighter with a more of a darker background. I'm now going to go back to using mulberry and now I'm just going to go around the very edge using a smoothie.
before I do any more work on my card, I have glued it to some ivory cardstock. And with my layer guide, I'm now going to trim the ivory card to a six of an inch border around my card. So now that I have trimmed it, it's time to glue it. and place it on my card blank. So now we're going to add some sparkle to the card. So I'm going to be using some of this beautiful eco glitter Turkish Delight. So I'm just going to put some glue dots around ready for the glitter adding some to the flowers but concentrating on my top now it's time to add some sparkle so I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the card I brush it all off. Now I'm just going to give this a gentle brush off. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle. Using the white orb stencil, and now I'm going to use some titanium white pastels and my sponge. Dabbing it in, I'm going to place these little orbs over the yellow dots. So I'm just going to dab it in and just blend over, choosing different sizes as I go along. put my card back into my stamping platform and now I'm going to be using the word dream from the collection of inspire me so I'm just going to pick up my stamp position it where I want it pick it up with my stamping platform and I'm going to be using Versamark which is a clear ink I am now going to be using mica minerals gold to do the word dream 
and I'm just going to use a brush, pick some up and just dab it on. And now I'm just going to brush off the excess. And there we have the word dream. And there we have the finished card. So thank you for watching. Please take care and hopefully see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.